Welcome everyone, I'm Emery Hunt, the czar of the playbook, and now that all of the film has been watched and all of the grades are in, it's time for the Football Game Plan Scouting 2018 NFL Draft Prospect Preview. Before we get started with our prospect rankings, here's how we gather our grades and what they actually mean. First, we watch a minimum of three full games on a player, a prospect's best game, his worst game, and the best or intriguing matchup. And second, we grade on 15 key points specific to the position to equal 100 points in total. Now, here's what the grades that you'll see by a prospect's name will actually mean. Prospects that earned grades in the 90s graded out as future NFL All-Pros. Prospects in the 80s are considered future Pro Bowl players. Grades in the 70s represent solid NFL starters. And grades in the 60s are players that we believe are spot starters in the NFL. And if you notice, we don't use the word reserve or backups because we personally feel as though that there are no such thing as backups in the NFL, only starters and waiting. So without further ado, let's kick off our prospect rankings by taking a look at our top 10. Natrell Jamerson of Wisconsin graded out as our number one free safety prospect in his draft class. His explosiveness and acceleration, in my opinion, makes him an excellent fit to patrol the back end in a secondary. He's able to shrink space going sideline to sideline and also coming downhill and add in the fact that he's a solid tackler and he could be a special team star from day one. Jesse Bates the third of Wake Forest doesn't make many mistakes from the back end. He's actually what you want in a free safety as he eliminates those mistakes and takes tremendous angles to the football on both ends of defense. Keep an eye on Carlo Thomas of Johnson C. Smith. All he does is find the football, 22 career interceptions for the 6'2 safety, and he has very underrated range. He shows great anticipation in closing in on the receiver and doesn't miss many, if any, opportunities to catch the ball. And when he does that, he definitely knows what to do with it, as evident by his six intercept returns for touchdowns. Looking at the rest of the top 10, and Armani Watts of Texas A&M is a very underrated player that has gotten better this season. And two FCS prospects in Raven Green of James Madison and Chris Cooper of Stony Brook are guys to keep an eye on. Green has the ball skills, while Cooper is very strong versus the outside run and also breaks on the ball extremely well. Trey Flowers of Oklahoma State is an intriguing one to me because he can play either safety spot, but I believe he's fluid enough to hold his own as a traditional free safety. And rounding out the list with prospects 11 and 12, Lucas Webb of Chattanooga is coming off of a fine career with the Mox and definitely has a home as a pro. We're going to move on now to what we like to call slot safeties, guys that can cover, but you may not want them out there at corner full time, but are also very strong zone defenders and run defenders, but you don't want them back deep full time either. They're matchup guys, so to speak. At number one is Minka Fitzpatrick of Alabama. The 6'1", 201-pound Crimson Tide defensive back has good all-around game. Some teams do view him as a corner, some as a safety, but I see him as a guy that can match up against both wide receivers, tight ends, and also running backs and play some deep third and have your defense in good shape no matter what. Derwin James of Florida State is an outstanding athlete and football player. Prior to the injury, he was doing a lot of what we saw Mika Fitzpatrick do at Alabama. I think now that he's going to be two years removed from that injury, he'll be back to doing just that as a pro. I think he has terrific instincts for the position. I'm a big fan of Jeremy Reeves' game out of South Alabama. He played corner for the Jaguars and also spent time as a safety. His matchup ability is going to help him make an impact as a rookie. I also believe he is a tremendous blitzer that blitzes with a purpose and usually finds himself making the play. Prospects 4 through 10 feature a ton of talented ball players. Justin Reed out of Stanford and Saran Neal of Jacksonville State are two types of guys that have played multiple spots on the back end and excelled. Neal has the physicality of a strong safety but can get out there and cover those bigger wide receivers. Reed has a tremendous ball skills and is very patient in coverage. And I like Godfrey Onyeka of Wilfred Laurier out of Canada. I was at the East West Bowl back in May up in Quebec City and he plays the halfback or slot corner position in U Sports which is their version of college football and is very comfortable in space and does a great job of consistently making plays on the ball. Najee Brown of Central Connecticut State has good value as a special teamer, as a returner and also in coverage and is also another one of those guys that can thrive in zone defenses. Dane Cruelshank of Arizona is coming off of a fine week of work at the East-West Shrine game. He was given receivers fits in one-on-ones because of his press skills. He's another one that's a terrific blitzer off the slot. 
Moving on to your traditional strong safeties in Alabama's Ronnie Harrison graded out as a top dog. I think people vastly underrate his fluidity as a player and how much space he can cover as he closes in on the ball carrier. Harrison also does a sound job of making plays on the ball. Marcus Allen of Penn State has been as consistent of a player in the nation at that position. I would like for him to be a little bit more under control, especially in coverage. But overall, he reminds me a lot of Sua Cravens when he came out of USC. Terrell Edmonds of Virginia Tech is an explosive athlete, especially upon contact. I think he does a great job of separating the receiver from the football and is also very strong in run support. Now here's the rest of the top 10. Kaiser White out of West Virginia is a phenomenal player and one that takes great angles to the ball. So is Trayvon Henderson of Hawaii. He is one that shows great instincts and coverage to be able to jump routes and break up the pass. Tracy Walker of Louisiana is coming off of a strong week at the Shrine game and has solid ball skills and is also able to match up well in coverage. Looking at prospects 11 through 20, Nate Gaines out of UT San Antonio is an underrated player who balled out in the Tropical Bowl. He has very good ball skills in addition to being able to do everything that you want a strong safety to do. Montreal Meander out of Grambling is one name to keep an eye on. He's a 6'3", 215-pound safety that's a former wide receiver. Meander has very good speed and is also going to be a riser during the pro day circuit. Max Redfield started his career off at Notre Dame but transferred to Indiana PA and helped the Crimson Hawks lead Division II in interceptions. Rounding out the strong safety prospects with 21 through 29, Osban Thompson of Tuskegee is an intriguing player. He played linebacker for the Golden Tigers, and as he makes the transition to safety, there's a lot of upside left in this game, which a defensive coach has to be intrigued by. Same with Ermine Lane of Florida State, who played both offense and defense for the Seminoles, and Kalik Williams of the Citadel can play either safety spot, but in my opinion, he's best suited as a strong safety. So that's a wrap for our 2018 FBGP Scouting Draft Prospect Preview. To see more of our individual scouting reports, follow us on Twitter at FBGP Scouting and bookmark the page footballgameplan.com slash FBGP Scouting. Also, subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash footballgameplan where you can get all of our scouting videos, mock drafts, and NFL Draft Prospect videos. And one more thing. Subscribe to us on iTunes under Football Game Plan Podcast where you can find the Scout Team Podcast where we interview multiple NFL draft prospects.